Oh. Look at the tapping. Tapping's all messed up. Huh. Tapping. And the tamping is done. We are going to measure how much coffee we got. Oh, the tamping did not come out very well, as you can see. So sometimes that happens. A little bit annoying. Camping did not come out well. Okay, we have a messy tamp. We have a lot of those lately. And I don't know why. Pretty messy tamp. Alright, machine is done tamping. Let's see what we got. Oh my god, we have a mess. So after getting several bad tamps, I decided to look into what was going on with the tamp fan. So I'll show you what I did. First remove the drip tray to find your little tool storage tray and um, look for the tamp removal magnet, a tool that looks like this. Then align it with the tamp fan. It will stick to it magnetically, then pull it gently and the tamp fan will come right out. Now on my machine, um, it seems like the tamp fan mechanism comes out a different way than um, instructions I was able to find. So I will show you just in case this is a new design um, on a newer machine. But you reach in and you pull gently. So the fastener and the magnetic portion that holds, that connects to the tamp fan, like so, this whole thing comes out. There's supposed to be an Allen screw right there that holds the fastener or the collar tight to the magnetic part, and that allows you to adjust the height of the tamp fan. And as you can see, mine moves freely, which is why I suspect I'm having so many tamping issues. Um, so it looks like I lost the Allen screw that goes right there. I contacted Brevel and they will be sending me a new um, Allen screw to go in here so that I can repair the tamp fan. So it took about a week, but I received the uh, part that I requested from Bravo Customer Service. And this is what they sent me, the entire attachment. So it looks like the fastener, the magnetic portion, and the screw that I lost. Um, I did notice that this is a little bit different than the one that I have, the existing one I have. So what I'm going to do now is remove the Allen screw from the replacement part and I plan to use it on my original part for the machine. And after I reassemble everything, we're gonna test the tamp fan to see if our problem is fixed. Look for the Allen key that came with your machine, which should be kept in the storage tray under the drip tray. So in this case, I want a few threads showing because I'm looking to have a little bit less dosage in my portafilter. It will go with four threads worth of space um, on the fastener and then we'll measure with a scale.
To put this piece back into the machine, just align it with the shaft that comes down. I think you can see that this rod here that comes down is kind of square. And so you have to seat this thing into it and then rotate it a little bit until you can feel that you've hit the square area in the right place and then push up with a good amount of pressure to make sure that this part is well seated. And right now it is very well seated, difficult to move or pull back down. It is now nicely seated. The tamper fits magnetically. You just have to align it properly and then it'll stay. So now that we've placed the tamp fan mechanism and tamp fan back into the machine, we're gonna grind some fresh coffee to test the tamp fan performance and our coffee dosage. So I've been warming the portafilter filter because if we're gonna grind fresh coffee, we might as well make a nice cup of coffee. First, we're gonna weigh our portafilter. filter. And tear it. Then I'm gonna wipe the inside of the porta filter with a slightly moist paper towel so that the coffee sticks better to the edge of the filter basket, which improves the tamp fan performance. And then we'll get some fresh coffee. Oh, tamp fan is performing well. Looks like we got a really nice tamp. So let's see how much dose we have. And we have 19.5. I want to be at 20 grams. Here we're pretty close, or we might even be there depending on the, the accuracy of the scale. So tamp fan seems to be performing well. The dose is very close to where we want to be. I hope you liked this video. Remember to hit like and subscribe. And now I'm gonna make a nice cup of coffee.